I just like to say uh, thanks very much to Brian McCauley and friends who have uh, 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I've got a book out, it's a fiver. I've got 10 copies here, so it's 50 quid now. I'll eat this week, everyone buys one, so you know, and, and I can get Mama out of the workhouse and little Timmy can have some shoes. <laughs> this is, uh, I'm going to start with a limerick. It's one of my first. Uh, um, forms of, of writing was limerick so when I was a schoolboy a teacher gave me a um, Edward Lear uh, nonsense poetry book and I absolutely loved it so this is a limerick but it's slightly sort of um, um, whatever this is about um, uh, Pickfucker Cameron and Johnson and Co and this is called by the pricking of my thumbs something wicked this way comes there was a privileged brat from Eton who became Prime Minister of Britain. He lied and lied until opposition had died from a right-wing related condition. It wasn't Covid that killed them, or voting nil-nilled them, but a deafening silence in the benches. Opposition is lacking, they all need a smacking, but who, what and where are the Bolshes? It was gold that lured them, expense accounts demurred them, upper class grubby right wing fuck the NHS whore, vampire harpies, knickers off for a toff and a ticket to pick fuckers parties. To India he flew, a deal to screw weapons for Russia, yet he's under pressure to get investigation, investi I'll come in again, investigations underway, with delays and discrepancies, dis disreputable references, the whole thing is becoming rather grey. He sells bombs for Ukraine streets, guaranteeing House of Lords streets for signatures on government white paper. Oligarchs sanctioned, no, they just hang around mansions. Devils they play while you pay and pay. You couldn't make it up the way that they fuck with your brain on an average day. And what of this brat? What of this cynical, disheveled poltroon? It's a fuck off and don't come back to the poor. Cheap mockery for the disabled. Cozy dinners, four grand a plate. Eaten mess puked over a table. Grunt shits, shifty spittle, greasy bob, risky raincoat and prat wank smoke. Gleefully fanning the flames till all that remains is star Starmer's weak-lipped, facile objections. A gutless attempt, not even a dent, just an irrelevant nod to the brain-dead, great informed, busy doing fucking elections. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Next piece is a little, slightly more serious. <laughs> um, this, the, the, tonight, in, in another part of town, there was going to be a, a, another event which I was going to read out, which I, I'd written for. Um, but sadly, it got cancelled. So um, I'm going to read that stuff tonight, which is you know, brilliant. Like, you know, whatever. Anyway, it was an event uh, regarding Ukraine and Afghanistan and all, you know, everywhere there's a fucking war. Uh, mostly in oil rich countries and there isn't any wars but in those countries where you know the, anyway the, you know the story you don't need, need me to preach about it this is called skin and this is for the um for the uh, uh crossing uh, of, of the ukraine uh, people who are being bombed out of their homes because uh you know nato expanded in, in, into various areas and putin said fuck off NATO didn't listen. Anyway, that's just my idea. What the fuck do I know? This is called skin. See the scars from a clouded history. Each one remembers a stranger taking aim. I understand he was only allowed one bullet. Two was considered a waste. Imagine a life having less meaning if it required more than one round to end it. Winter finds the unknown soldier stalking like a golem, looking for another name. Dogs bark, crows bark, women and children build barriers. He's small, 
Like Napoleon standing to attention, such is the curse of geography, he must protect the flatlands from a diplomat's advances. Warm water ports freeze up, tourists go south, tipping the waiter, stuffing paper money into his blue serge trousers. People protest. On the TV, banners raise, placards say, we are moved to walk in orderly lines. Shoppers wave from pavements. Children's buggies look so cute, adorned with flags of all nations. United Nations, free to wander wherever they choose. To the Palace of Versailles. To the Colosseum where lions ate converts for sport. This is my skin. The darkest spots are plague ships. Holding fast while you move ever closer to the border between our great nations. There could be sparks. Like a comet, a giant Catherine wheel falling to earth, trailing in its wake a million stars. We could collide, as people do, as planets do on long journeys through space and time. We'll check our passports for clues and stare into each other's eyes. It's an old picture. I no longer have that shirt. But this is my skin. It surrounds you. And this is a piece I, I, I've written especially for the, the event that was going to happen. Um, it's in three parts, and it's for the uh, the sort of uh, Afghanistan scenario, which is still going on. Uh, this is a nation betrayed by a bunch of bastards on the make. This first part is called Water. Clouds. Uh, I'm sorry, she was just there. a lot of this is verbatim from conversations and various things. Clouds are mythical here. I can't remember the last time it rained. A drought took my children. Desert winds blew sand across their eyes. Love is a mirror. I sit in its shade and write my pen or hawk scavenging stories, gathering sticks and soft moss from empty, empty nests. My thoughts dark like a soldier taking aim. The Taliban turn everything to dust, bodies, future, shadows. We are invisible now. Our only hope is escape. When I get off the plane in Wisconsin, I'll wear whatever I want. Sunglasses, a sombrero, perhaps. American troops fired tear gas. Whole families stood shouting for their lives, eyes streaming, burning, waving SIV forms. It was like the fall of Saigon, except no news stations didn't report anything. No under the table payments, no ladders to freedom, no helicopters falling off buildings. They just sat around tables, made their deals and fucked off. Betrayal is a poison. It rips a life, does its fucking job and moves on. Asleep on watch. Pathways out of here get lost in a paper chase. Stiff pims, schoolboys lap dance while another Rome burns. Their hearts are rotten. Their bellies subsidized by hungry families. Photo opportunities show smiling, cynical MPs cutting tape for another food bank. Refugees are told their sponsors need more money. Where the fuck are they taking us? Now Zad's animals got a whole plane to themselves. He was the only human aboard. His people couldn't get out. They weren't barking, growling, or mewling. No one thought to shapeshift. Imagine, if you will, a white English girl kissing an Afghani frog. No one challenged the plans to leave Kabul. Redneck one, that fucking imbecile, slurred and rambled. He'd studied American history. And you know how the Civil War, 1861 to 1865, was won? They took over the airports. A country that elects an imbecile with the IQ of a sick bag cannot be trusted with our lives. Masnavi, couplets. Rooney said, wealth has no permanence. It arrives early morning and is scattered to the winds. We are the wealth of this land, blown to thieves with dinghies. 
our children washed up on tourist beaches, a rosy face made pale by the scratch of a single thorn. I hear of tricks mouthed by the rich to keep people poor. Don't be a candle, be a moth. Dwell at my door, be homeless, be a servant. Learn the power of servants, of service. I feast on sand. They party like it's 1999. My world has become vinegar in an ocean of honey. Of my existence there is nothing left, not even a name on a special immigrant visa. I am treated like a fool shut out of a casino. All bets are off. Ten to one, I'll get refused. A hundred to one, I'll end up in Rwanda. This is called Razzmatazz. This is one I wrote a few years back for uh, another DuckTales event, which actually happened, which was great. And this was uh, for, for, for Bosnia at the time. Razzmatazz. The piano plays allegro, fierce, stamping allegro, thick fingers on heavy hands, heavy chords banging against our ears like bullets hitting their mark. A band is blowing Dixie double ball time. A lock-in, long past curfew. Bottles half full, voices singing, glasses ringing. All that jazz, razzmatazz. No one thinks about the streets. Ricochets, whining, splitting heads, dropping like flies. Open fires, cooking dinner at tin pot utility. There's water along Sniper's Alley. Dance macabre. Chairs. Legs rock, legs slap red, who would complain to would listen? And laughter, what a simple sound it is. Unhinged, teeth flashing, air screaming, tongue stuck out, defiance. Bright liquor, inebriating the folds of our skin. Et liberati me. And what of tomorrow? Old rags carrying the dead across no man's land while hostile forces shoot to kill. This could be anywhere. Salingrad, Nuremberg, Warsaw, Krakow, Cambodia, Manchuria, Sarajevo, Belfast, Berlin, Rwanda, Bhopal, Soweto, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, Kurdistan, Ukraine. The music plays. The list goes on. Thanks very much. Eh? Eh, I'm told we've got a second microphone, but I don't see who it is.